Hey, what is going on guys? Today I am making a video that has been requested by a lot of you guys. This is a 2022 update on how to make it rain in Assetto Course. So this will be visual rain as well, like on the ground and things like that, but also how to get rain physics on your cars because that is definitely something that is lesser known. So this is just a full and complete guide. It should be a pretty quick video. It's not that hard and to show you I'll be on Circuit de la Sarthe the Forza Motorsport 7 conversion as well on the Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo 2020 by Kunos. So the first place that you're gonna wanna go to is right here. It is Ilya's Patreon. You can support any amount. I throw in a dollar personally. He's definitely not hurting for money, so uh, don't feel bad if you just chuck him a dollar. But you're gonna wanna go down right here to the Lights Patch version 1.78 Preview 1. This is going to be the patch that gives you rain effects. All of the preview versions are going to have rain effects. If it does not say preview in it, it will not have rain effects. That's probably just the free one, or it is the free one that you can just get through Content Manager. This is the paid preview versions. And since rain effects is still technically in a preview build, even though it is very much fully fledged, and I guess it is something nice that you have to pay for as well, you just come right here, you pay the dollar, and you get it. So you're just gonna click on it right here, and it'll download super easy just like that. And then what you're gonna do is back into your Assetto course, so you're simply just gonna drag this file, drag the zip file over into Content Manager, and you'll get this. You can just, um, I just hit update over existing files. Unless you're having issues with your CSP, I would just leave it at that. But once it downloads, you come right here and you should come to custom shaders patch about and updates and you should see your current version is 1.78 preview one at the time of making this video. Again, it's been three months since he's posted a new patch. So I don't know when we're getting the next one, but if you're watching this like a year down the line, at least I hope we have a new CSP patch. So whatever the current one is, it will say it right Right there hopefully so now the next thing that you're gonna do the final thing that you're actually gonna do is head over to your content manager settings right here and in drive you want to come all the way down to this right here allow to use patch car data to activate extended physics I actually did not know this was here until I had to look it up myself so a lot of you guys may not have known that this was the setting that you had to turn on to get rain physics, but you just hit that right there, bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Now I should mention that the AI don't really do well in the wet. They're not really coded for wet weather racing. So if you're gonna be racing the AI, sadly, I would highly recommend turning use experimental physics off. But if you're just hot lapping, I would recommend turning it on right here. It'll give you the warning. It's highly experimental, da 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 da. We've had it for a year, it's fine. So finally, yeah, you can just come over here, set your time of day, and boom, you can hop right into the game. Make sure that's ticked if you want rain physics. Again, the AI can't really handle rain physics super well, so if you're racing the AI, I recommend turning it off. So once you're in the game, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do if you have experimental physics on is go over to your tire compound and go all the way over to rain. And it's actually really cool because if I turn my wheel a little bit here and we go into the like outside view, you'll see that we actually have tread on our tires. It's just a cool little CSP thing. It adds some tread textures onto whatever tire it is. So that's just super cool. A nice little level of immersion as well if you wanna take screenshots or something like that. But once you're in the game, you can also set it from um, Content Manager when you're trying to go into your, like, your weather presets and things like that. You can set rain to be in there automatically, but the easiest way, because I always just leave mine set on this, is to come over here to Soul Plan Selector. Make sure you're on Soul 2.2 to be able to use this. Come down here to Few Clouds, whatever it is, um, and you can set it to rain and it'll have the rain amount as default 60. 60 looks nice. It's a nice um, heavy pour, I guess, but not, you know, overbearing. And thanks to rain debugging, which is actually fairly new, you can just immediately set the track wetness and puddles and things like that. So you don't have to wait for it to actually accumulate on the track. Of course, you can still if you want to, though. It's a lot more realistic. 
But if you just want to start your race and it's been raining for a long time, it's a super easy way to do that. But finally, you're done. You can just come into a Seto and it definitely has wet physics. A, a GT3 car doesn't drift. <laughs> so I, I hope that proves it. Plus, you know, I can also go on to slick tires and yeah, we're, we're, we're just... We're just not going anywhere fast. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> the rain physics, they're not probably like hyper accurate um, for every single car, of course, but it is nice to have. It mainly just simulates like very little grip on the track as well as puddles. So when you hit a massive puddle, you'll definitely feel it through your force feedback if you're going really fast. And you can also aquaplane as well if your car is like very, very low to the ground and the puddle is deep enough, which is pretty rare in my experience, but you can definitely feel it and it is a pain to deal with. But besides that, that is how you get rain in Assetto Corsa, as well as to get the rain physics. Again, the AI don't really work with the rain physics, so if you're going to be doing that, I recommend that you turn it off. But if you just want to hot lap and drive around in the rain uh, and experience something that you haven't yet before in Assetto, then it is definitely a super cool mod to have. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy and you found this helpful, a like and a sub would mean a lot. Again, I've had so many people commenting and asking about it, so I decided that I would throw together this quick little video for you guys. Thank you for watching, thank you for all the support, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys!